Oh. Okay, you sit down. Good. We finally made it back, you guys. Um, we did one and a half miles run. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm definitely not in shape for running continuously for one and a half miles. However, what we did was it was more of um high intensity interval training. We did 10 to 15 seconds sprint, and then we did a fast paced walk for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, and then halfway through the one and a half miles of um the route, we rested just in a regular walking for about one to two minutes and they want to continue again. It's going to be a good activity for the both of us since me, I got to improve with this part of my life with my cardiovascular exercises and then he needs to spend his energy very first thing in the morning, you guys, so that when I get back to the apartment, he's not going to be all crazy, he's not going to be running around, he's not going to be biting all kinds of stuff, he's not going to be chewing on the woods and all that good stuff. He can just go to sleep, relax throughout the day and eat. Um, we've had a good and productive day so far, you guys. I woke up around like 7 in the morning uh, I put my washer, I mean, I put my laundry in the washer already. Uh, I got myself a cup of coffee and then edited the film for my YouTube upload. If you guys haven't seen it yet, make sure to check it out. I'll put the link somewhere in the screen, maybe somewhere right here. Make sure to check it out, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm about like halfway through of that edit. And then I'm gonna go home right now, finish that edit, get my morning shake, my fruit shake, and maybe get a nap a little bit because today is going to be a leg day, you guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, you guys, um, it is currently 5.26 in the afternoon right now. Um, before going to the gym, let me show you guys what it takes for a pure workout. It is this one, the BPN Flight. Um, disclaimer, I'm not being paid or an affiliate to advertise this product. I just love the product, 10 out of 10. It's the blue raspberry, kind of tastes like Sour Patch. Um, the link is going to be down in the description below if you guys want it. And then if you guys have seen my other video from the previous upload, I talked about um, checking my temperature, how high it gets when I do my squats or when I do my leg day. It was requested by my professor on the um, cardiac advancement search. So I bought myself a thermometer. I can do it on the um, auxiliary. It's, it'll take my temperature for about 30 seconds. So I'm not gonna do anything fancy edits. I'm just gonna talk and like record or um, vlog the temperature every single set or maybe like every single workout. So I'll see you guys in the gym. So I just got myself here in the gym and um, I wanted to check my temperatures to see where my baseline is at. And this is gonna be my pre warm up temperature. And my plan of workouts for today's leg day is going to be uh, back squats, heavy weights, and then um, deload the weight for front squats. And then um, I'm going to do a leg press super set with stiff leg deadlift if there will be any bar available. And then hamstring curls um, super set with uh, box, box jump from side to side. And then um, standing calf raises, heavy weights, and then super set with. Um, Set of races. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my temperature right now to see where my to see where my baseline is, and then I'll show it to you guys. Just give me one second. Alrighty, you guys. So my baseline of temperature right now, I'm currently at 98.7. It kind of took about a minute, you guys. So we'll see how it's gonna be like when I start working out. I am at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, you guys.
same thing you guys, it's about 99.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's proceed to my next workout, it's gonna be a front bar squats. I'm gonna try to do it for 135 pounds and then bump it up to 185 pounds. You guys, so we are at. I mean, I am at 99.8. It's about a couple points further or hotter compared to my first uh, first three workouts with my back squats. I do apologize, you guys. I had to cut my um my film because around 6:45, the staff he's the only one in the gym, and they announced that the gym will be closed in about 50 minutes. So I decided not to vlog because it takes about an extra minute of my time. I had to rush my workout, so I did leg press super setup with stiff leg deadlift, and after that, I went ahead and did my hamstring curls. And um, don't worry, you guys. I checked my temperature after my rushed workout, and the temperature wasn't as high as compared to my squats. I think the reasoning behind it is because when I'm doing um, isolation exercises like the hamstring curl, you, my temperature when I checked it was only at about 99.1 degrees Fahrenheit. However, when I did my when I was doing my squats. It went up to 99.4 degrees Fahrenheit, and my front squats. It went. It even went up to. Um, <sighs> whew, I'm gonna catch my breath. To 99.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 99.9 degrees Fahrenheit. So to conclude this experiment, temperature goes up, and it goes even higher when you're using a lot of um, muscle groups. Like with squats, I was engaging my quads, my glutes, my lower back, basically like full body, my core, my hamstrings, my calves. And the, um, my um, hamstring curl, it was only a little bit of glute, a little bit of lower back, and uh, mostly hamstrings. That's why it's not as high as compared to front squats. So, thank you so much for watching this little experiment, you guys. Um, this is dedicated to my professor, um, Mrs. Jury, for cardiac advanced med surge. I'll see you on Tuesday. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure to share this video to your social media, to your friends. Always keep your feet on the ground, eyes on the sky. I'll see you guys in the next one.